Good morning guys. Last night the press were introduced to Pepe, South Africa's first humanoid. I think that means robot. Hi Pepper. My name is Pepper. I was named Pepper because I am here to spice up your life. I had the privilege of working with the team um, on doing some of the visuals for Pepper. Just top secret so we couldn't tell anyone. Pepper's really cute. Um, the guys were saying something about she's actually a he but and like a Pepper's actually a like got the mentality of a four year old. I don't get any of that stuff. Honestly don't. But I think it's really cool and um, I think it's fun and like I'm not opposed to having a little bit of fun and you know digital's always been a bit of a playground for me. So you know I'm I'm ex I think more excited to be to see people excited and uh, people do seem to be excited by Pepper. Um, you know, we, we, who's ever really played with a robot before? You know, and and I think that they, you know, it's it's not quite where we want a robot to be, but um, you know, if you've ever seen those crazy videos of those dogs that can open doors and things like that, that's some scary stuff. But you know, this is quite a friendly little robot that will learn and constantly do new things um, to engage with people in, in a new way so that sounds interesting so yeah um, good fun the little dance <laughs> all right I'm going to try and set up my PC that I got back in 2011. I haven't really turned it on since about 2014. I think when I went before I went to Hong Kong. Since I got back from Hong Kong, I don't think I've turned it on again. Um, but I did recently get one of the guys at work to check it out and add, I think it's Windows 10. And it's been sitting around for ages now and I thought, you know what, why don't I set it up as a workstation um, that I could kind of one, get familiar with PC again, just for the hell of it, and possibly even edit on. Cool. Alright, cool. So what I'm going to do first is clean up what is essentially my dressing table, I guess and just clean that up because I've got some dual monitors, I've got this huge PC case and then I assume lots of wiring for keyboards and mouse and everything else. Uh, so let me do that and then I can put all the gear together. Awesome skateboard decks that need to go on the wall pretty soon. I'm looking for Mr. Happy which will hopefully be my next contribution. Um, who's the spy? Cliche. Love that, Mr. Grumpy. Cool. So I've got this uh, Microsoft mouse. Super precise, super old, but super, super precise. And then I've got this Logitech keyboard that lights up. 
just the most beautiful people. Haven't used it in years, I absolutely love it. Lastly, one of two very dusty <laughs> monitors. I don't know if you can read that. I should be. I'm gonna go get the other and try and find the adapters. What I think I'm doing wrong here is that I actually haven't put on my microphone and I've got my moment lens. So let me do that. Cool, so I've got the moment wide angle lens on and the sure lighting adapter microphone. This should be sounding better and looking better. Okay, so so far not so good. I seem to be missing the power cables and the cables from here into uh, the computer. So, so far, monitor fell. Got the keyboard, got the mouse, got the machine. Got a really old 24, I think 24 inch display over here, this guy. Really love this, but I'm just not sure whether I'm gonna be able to plug this in. Uh. Okay. So I definitely found some cables. Now I just gotta try and unknot this big fat maze. Check out this little gem that I found inside the storage room. It's like a proper old skateboard deck and I wish I could find trucks for it. I don't know what this is made of. I don't know if it's a some sort of a fiberglass or something like that, some sort of a resin, whatever that might be. But yeah, it's like a proper 60s, 70s, somewhere there. Skateboard deck, look how flat that sucker is. In this mess, I've managed to find this cable. I've got some power cables over somewhere, over there. And uh, I'm gonna hook this puppy up and I'll do the dual monitor another day. Here's this big display on this big messy counter. Keyboard. Mouse. Okay. So, here is my big giant Cooler Master computer. Massive guy I know, but uh, it does the job. <laughs> this is my Cooler Master Pro. Awesome adapters which you can't see because it's too dark. But yeah, Cooler Master Pro. I really did think that was the coolest uh, case ever once upon a time, but now it's just ginormous. Beautiful. Okay, all right, now we're winning. Cool, so I've got my PC set up and it's horrible. <laughs> I'm really hating it. I am going to build a desk in the studio that I will have my Thunderbolt display, seeing as nobody has offered to buy it yet, which if anybody wants to buy it, please uh, give me a shot. But yeah, I'm less than impressed. The fonts look bitmappy, like pixelated and the bitmaps just look horrific and I don't know if I've still just got to set something up but this really doesn't look that good um, but who knows maybe it'll be good for me to game on maybe I can give it to Dexter he can come play games while I'm editing on my Mac on the Thunderbolt display okay, so while I had this PC set up um, the, the reason why I'm kind of doing this is that I want to have kind of a studio space and I thought this might be a way to do it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a real solution. I've got a 5K monitor at work, I've got the Thunderbolt display behind me. I probably need to get a desk that I put in the studio and get myself a really good seat. And that I can kind of do the tutorials and things like that, um, which I think would be a big help. Um, it's quite nice to film here because I've actually got a mirror behind me. See? mirror over there so it does make life a little easier
but thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool